The south clamp attaches to the system at marked locations printed on the rail. Let's break down the parts, function, and installation of the south clamp. The clamp body attaches directly to the rail with a clevis pin as shown. It is designed to swing up, or vertically, above the rail. The slider is attached to the top of the clamp body and can fully rotate. It has a spring-loaded mechanism that allows the module frame to be positioned between the clamp body and the slider. The clamp seat serves as the support against which the module frame is held when installed. To install, find the marking labeled South Clamp on the base rail. If using 10-inch or 13-inch row spacing, ensure the South Clamp is installed in the appropriate location for your row spacing. Place the south clamp so that its body sits like a saddle over the rail. The holes on each side should line up with similar holes in the rail. Slide a clevis pin through both to secure. A single module is supported by two south clamps. Place the module vertically so that its frame is supported by the clamp seats. Before pulling the slider down over the module frame, rotate it 180 degrees. Pull the slider of both clamps toward the module. Fully engage the sliders against the module edge and tighten the bolt. The clamps are designed to hold the module vertically, allowing for wire management during installation or maintenance beneath the array. For stability while working on the module, it is recommended to use an item to prop the module up in case of wind gusts. When ready, swing the module down until its north end contacts the north stanchions. Slide the north clamps against the module edge and tighten the bolts.